Hey, I just spent uh, quite a bit of time slamming on equatorial mounts. Um, as, alt as is better, altitude as it, azimuth. I called EQ equatorial the hobby killer. It's a pretty good, pretty good uh, descriptor. However, they're not all bad. There are some that can do something I'm about to show you. I forgot, my friend John pointed it out to me. Um, there are a variety of brands that can do this. So uh, the problem with EQ's equatorial mounts is this axis here points to the North Star. And the plus is you can follow the trail of the stars with turning only one axis, okay? That's great if you're doing photography, it's a motorized mount. Okay, if you're not doing that, there's no point in having this. If you do have an EQ mount, again, don't buy a new one. Uh, if you do have an EQ mount, there is a way that you can make this pointable. Like right now, if I want to point it out there, uh, it's really hard. So out as, you can convert this to a close to out as. Um, the equatorial axis, or excuse me, uh, use this to adjust the equatorial axis. Uh, a lot of these will loosen up and you can just point it like so, lock it down. That's essentially pointing up and what you get is a azimuth axis and a altitude axis. So it becomes an alt as. Okay? Um, you still have a counterweight which isn't really valuable. Um, you know, it's extra weight, it's an extra piece. Um, but it does a lot. Uh, Polaris, Super Polaris, uh, this is an old Celestron EQ1 or something. It's, I don't know. But again, this is a whole lot easier to point at something. So if you're doing terrestrial stuff, if you just want to find it easy to point, see if your equatorial mount can adjust. There you go. So now we're back to equatorial.